welcome back to my channel, Tora Athena, where today I am reviewing one of the comics that I got from Wales Comic Con, and it is Mandy and the Monsters by Hellbound Media. I also apologise for this face, I am getting, I think I'm becoming poorly, I think I'm getting the sick, and I've just came back from work, so deal with it. This comic is written by Matt Warner and drawn by Anna Suzanne. It's basically about a story about a girl called Mandy, and she can see and fight monsters. It's actually really interesting in that concept because it kind of plays alongside the whole lore of mythological creatures and legends. She kind of mentions in the comic at one point that one of the monsters made one of the biggest mistakes revealing themselves to her because that is something they're really scared of is that adults believe and that makes them a lot more stronger, the adults. Which I actually really liked, I really liked that concept. It doesn't explain whether she does it as a career, like it's her job, or that's, it's kind of like that whole, I've dedicated my life to this and this is what I do. At the moment I think she's just dedicating her life to it. In this particular story, she revisits her old school that she went to when she was a kid, as she believes that it is run by monsters, due to the fact that some, she's starting to get these images posted to her of kid drawings of monsters and kids and I don't want to spoil anything but the whole issue is set around her visiting this school and checking out if there are monsters or not. It's a very simple storyline but most first issues should be. It gets you gripped into the story without complicating the matter too much. The story is original enough as well to keep you interested and I love anything uh, fantasy and dark and gruesome so that really did have that hook on me. It's kind of hard to show the art the way I usually do because I usually have overlays on all pretty special effects which I don't have for this comic but as you can see the art is black and white and it seems like a mixture of like digital and charcoal it's the only way I can describe it. Some places are incredibly detailed and then some are very vague and and, uh, simple. I'm not 100% sure if I'm a fan of this art. I love black and white art. I think it matches the story great and in some sense it works really well because how they show the subtleness of the monsters being around when we don't notice them it works incredibly well and sometimes it's too simple for the narrative to carry the story if that makes sense i don't think that makes sense there are some fight scenes that don't explain themselves properly because it's too basic and i kept getting lost in what was going on at the very very end i had to read it three times to fully understand what was going on and i'll be honest i still don't the last page sums up everything so you kind of even if you don't understand some things you go okay well i know where i'm at now and that's okay that's good like the story is good but I blame the art a lot and I wish they described in more detail how it evolves into the last panel, if that makes sense. You won't make sense to you because you haven't read it. <laughs> but overall, it's actually a really good story. It was only £3.50 and it was actually well worth a read. I would definitely pick up the second issue just to see where it goes because the last panel is a good cliffhanger and you do kind of want to go, ah! Oh, now I want to carry on reading, even though you did get lost a couple of times within the first comic. If you want to check any more out, go to hellboundmedia.co.uk. I will put the link below. But also remember that this is signed by three of the people in it and this is going in my giveaway. So if you want to win this for completely free, plus loads of other signed goodies, including a signed autograph of Mark Mir, the link for that tweet will be below. Go to that tweet, retweet it, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Remember, I can check and I will pick a winner at random and you will win all the goodies and I will ship worldwide for free. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon where next week it will just be the normal upload schedule as this was the Wales Comic Con week. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.